Welcome back everyone. Today's going to be a continuation of my Axis wireless mic uh, kind of review and this won't be a range test. I've already done that. I've had a lot of questions uh, asking me about the left ear channel only, the mono, and how I got both, uh, both channels to work. And uh, real quickly getting into this, right now what you're listening uh, my voice you're hearing now is just going into a GoPro without the wireless mic. I don't have it connected in any way and later on as we go I'm going to connect the mic and show you the difference. People report uh, a lot of noise. Um, I haven't really, I haven't had a whole lot of noise with mine. Maybe I just got a good one, I don't know, but let's just keep going here. The reason why, uh, these are mono. Okay, the wireless access wireless mic, the model uh, MPWL1503-BK, it's mono. The cables that come with it are mono. As you can see here, there's just a positive pin and then a ground. Uh, or I may have that backwards, whatever. Okay, you get it. When the cable that comes with it is a quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter mono. Alright, and I want to point out that where I've been getting all of my mic troubles, I've finally figured out what it's what's causing it it's this quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter adapter this cable that comes maybe not necessarily the cable but the adapter that comes with your uh, wireless microphone is absolute junk first thing you need to do when you get this take this adapter and probably this cable and throw it in the trash and then what you want to do is buy a new mono to mono 3.5 millimeter cable gold plated it'll be much better and it uh, attaches much more positively to your camera it's a much better cable and they're not very expensive I got this off eBay I think it was five dollars so that aside let me stop now uh, hook this back up with my new uh, gold plated 3.5 millimeter mono uh, stereo uh, mono cable and then we'll get going Okay, before I do that, I forgot to show you what I've done here. This was just a just a regular uh, 3.5 millimeter stereo jack female into a uh, the mini USB. Okay, right here. I've done some work on the end of this, but that's uh, we won't discuss that for the purpose of this video. What I've done, I simply cut this in half. Okay, this is what a GoPro comes with. This, uh, at least your new GoPros, uh, I'm speaking specifically for the Hero 3 Plus Silver. comes with a 3.5 stereo female into a USB, the mini USB male. What you can do is cut this. And I had to look on the, on the web to determine what pin on a stereo cable is left channel. And, and it's, it's like, uh, if you look at this, I had to determine... There will be three. There will be three spaces, which there will be two black rings around the stereo cable, indicating left channel and right channel. Well, what I had to do, I just simply uh, looked online and found out which one of the flats was left channel and which one was ground and which one was the uh, the right channel. So once you do that, it's very simple. And then with an ohms meter, I decided continuity. So all I had to do was cut this, and then for my left channel positive wire and the ground I just simply soldered my left channel to both left and right channels of the wire going into the GoPro nothing to it and I did not use the right channel of of course coming from the Axis wireless microphone I hope this is making sense because it's unused the mono Axis wireless microphone only uses left channel audio at least in my case uh, mine does this model so Finding the left channel and the ground, soldering it to the left and right channel of the input allows you to have mono sound in left and right ear. And you don't need to use Audacity or any kind of freaking programs to, uh, to be able to pull the left channel out. It's just more work. Once you're done with this, you, you don't have to use any software to pull the left channel audio and double it and put it to the right ear. I think that's unnecessary. Just make sure anytime you cut cables like this and you, you expose the wires, you need to hit them with a flash, uh, I mean you need to hit them with a lighter and kind of flash off that coating that's on those wires to make a good contact for your solder. Okay, having said that, now let's move on to the wireless microphone and I'll let you get a difference in the sound. 
Okay, now you're hearing me through the Axis wireless microphone. As you can see I have power indicator here and here. I'm using the old junk adapter that came with the kit and the old cable that came with the kit. Cables going out of the receiver, of course, and into the GoPro. And when I was getting all scratchy right here, probably my feet. There was just a little bit of and I've lost a lot of video over the course of time because of the time. it took me forever to figure out what was going on. But anyway, that's the case. Let's swap out now and go to the better cable. Okay, now you're hearing me through a nice 3.5 millimeter mono uh, mono cable that is gold plated on each end. I'll try to wiggle this. This is really tight fitting now in here. There's not going to be much play. And now I'm wiggling the one that's actually connected to the GoPro. Yeah, there, there's, there's actually no movement whatsoever. And uh, that's the difference. So, you know, to recap, uh, throw the cable that comes with your GoPro. This is speaking from experience. Throw this thing in the trash. Get you something else that's gold plated that has a, a better positive connections. Okay, uh, bear with the shaky camera. I apologize in advance. Uh, I'm just kind of doing this quick without a tripod. Uh, I'm not an artist by any, any means, so just kind of bear with also the, the uh, poorly drawn uh, diagram. But this is the receiver of the wireless microphone, and this is my GoPro. This is the 3.5 millimeter to, micro, or to mini USB cable that goes from the receiver to the GoPro. I simply made a cut right down the center of it. Okay, very simple. Peel back the insulation with a, uh, I, I use a, a hot melt wire stripper so I don't cut any of the wires. It's important when you use this fine stuff. But you can get by if you're very careful using an eye for whatever you have. The ground, find out which, uh, which of the stereo pins, you know, you'll, you have a, let me try to do this while I'm holding the camera, but you know, you have your pin that comes in like this, okay? And then it comes down to a point. Well, the point always has a little spot like that, and then there'll be another black line here on your cable. Well, uh, at the time I researched this, and I knew which one was going to be left channel, which one was going to be right channel, and which one was going to be ground. And this may not be correct, so don't take this for for what I've drawn this. You'll have to look that up, and I may do that at the end of this video. But okay, so one of those is going to be left channel, right channel, and ground. Find the ground wire. And I, like I said, I used an ohms meter. It was pretty simple. A uh, continuity tester. It beeped when it told me that I had it on the right pin. And uh, ground it up. Put your grounds back together. Okay, that's easy. Then find the left channel. You have to find the left channel coming out of your receiver because that's the only one that works on the mono microphone. Wire the left channel into the right channel and the left channel. So you just wire it all together. The three wires go together here going into the GoPro along with the ground and that's giving you the sound that you're hearing right now because I am using the microphone to make this part of the video so that's how it's done okay so I looked it back up and the end of your of your 3.5 millimeter connector is left channel the center is right and the base nearest the cord is the ground so that's that tells you if you have a stereo 3.5 millimeter connector, plug it in to your GoPro. Plug it into this right here. Right here. Plug it into this. All right. Then cut your wires. Separate all your wires out. Now, with a, an ohms meter and a continuity setting that'll beep at you when you make a connection, all you have to do is go to the other end. This is a mono, but I'll use it for an example. Is just touch your or clip your continuity connector to the left channel, which is the end of it. Clip it right here, and then whenever you'll have three wires, then clip it to one, is, you know, each wire in turn until you get a beep. And when you get a beep, you know, you found your left channel wire that would be going into your GoPro. Or, you know, I'm just using GoPro for an example, but this would be the same for a camera that accepts a 3.5 millimeter jack as well. So once you found left channel, then you just all you have to do 
is find the ground. Okay, so you don't, so you're not wiring your right channel and left channel to your ground. Once you found your left channel, then find the ground. Clip a continuity tester to this, the base of your your connector, your 3.5 millimeter connector, and then attach that to each successive wire that you've cut until it beeps. Then you've found ground, and the only thing left is right channel. So bend your ground back out of the way, ignore it for now. Wire your left and right channels together, along with the left channel coming from the uh, the wire that you cut on the other side. So, yeah, that's probably clear as mud, but it makes sense if you don't think about it.